It is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020, and you are tuned into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Eastern Midget Week for the USAC National Midgets was supposed to get underway tonight at Grandview Speedway, but the uh, approaching tropical storm, which I'm not going to try to pronounce, uh, has forced the cancellation of tonight's event. The rest of Eastern Midget Week is on as scheduled and looks like this. Tomorrow, they head to Action Track USA, followed by Thursday at Bridgeport Speedway, Friday at Path Valley, Saturday at Clyde Mart Memorial Speedway, and Sunday at Sealands Grove Speedway. For more information about Eastern Midget Week, you can find that at usacracing.com. After losing the Kokomo weekend to rain, the Water of Outlaws Late Model Series is back tonight at Beaver Dam Raceway in Wisconsin before they head to Cedar Lake this weekend for the USA Nationals. It's the first time the Late Model Series is at Beaver Dam since 2009. Jason Fager is the most recent winner at the track. Ryan Shepard continues to lead the standings by a sizable 214 points over Ricky Weiss. Daryl Lanigan is another 54 points back in third. Shepard has 11 wins on the season and six in the last seven races. His average finish over the last 10 races is an incredible 1.7. Behind him, Cade Dillard has been strong in recent weeks with three second place runs in the last four races, and Ricky Weiss has been better off, uh, better as of late after finishing outside the top 20 both nights back at Lernerville. Looking at tonight, it will be interesting to see who who else comes to Beaver Dam for this race with many of the top teams racing this weekend for the big money at Cedar Lake I'd expect some of them to take the opportunity to race tonight especially with the race paying 10,000 to win on a Tuesday night right now the dirttracker.com analytics prediction formula heavily favors Brandon Shepard for the win Kay Dillard also has a solid win percentage but if some other strong cars show up those chances could obviously change you can watch all of the action tonight from Beaver Dam live on Dirt Vision with your fast pass Speaking of Cade Dillard, with this being his second season out with the Award of Outlaws, I wanted to take a look at some of his his numbers and see how he's improved from his first year to his second. R with R Ricky Weiss coming into the series at the same time and being a challenger right away, it seems like Dillard got overlooked a little bit early on, uh, but is starting to g garner more attention as of late. Looking at just his 2019 season, you can see from his results the massive improvement from even the first half of the season to the second. Uh, it shows a young, inexperienced driver getting his legs under him and learning how to be out on tour. Over the first 20 races of 2019, he had two top 10 finishes and a single top five finish. He made most of the features, but was often outside the top 10. On July 9th, 2019 at ABC Raceway, Dillard grabbed his first top five of 2019, and that kind of seemed to change the course of his season. He started the second half of the season with a 17th place run at River Cities, but then ripped off three top tens in a row and ended up with 14 top tens over the final 21 races. He also had six top five finishes as well. He ended 2019 seven, uh, seventh in the points and with an average finish of 11.9. He also led 60 laps on the season. For 2020, his drastic improvement has continued after going winless in his rookie campaign. He won in just his third series start in 2020 at Vado Speedway Park back in January. He won again at Lernerville in June, taking down the 30,000 to win Firecracker finale. Through 26 races so far this season, he already has four more top fives than he did all of 2019, and he's matched the number of top tens. He's also already led 50 more laps than he did in 2019. His average start has improved from 13.2 to 8.8, .8, and his average finish from that 11.9 to 8.5. He's made gains in qualifying as well, going from an average qualifying position of 8.9 in 2019 to an average position of 5.6 in 2020. His race nights have become much more complete as well, which is why his driver rating is currently 10 points better this season over last, and he's only been bested in 2020 by Brandon Shepard. Dillard is currently fourth in the series standings, but sits only 78 points out of second. His season to date has shown he'll be a threat to win wherever he unloads his car and will be one to watch over the rest of the 2020 year. You can find more more stats for Dillard and the Word of Outlaws Late Model Series at dirttracker.com slash analytics. Speaking of Cedar Lake as well, there was some confusion as to where race fans could watch this weekend's USA Nationals online, as it did uh, had had been part of the Dirt on Dirt universe in recent years, but it disappeared off of their schedule recently. It did not appear on Flow or Dirt Vision either, but it was announced just this morning that Dirt Vision will carry the weekend from Cedar Lake all three nights. It's important to note, however, it does not appear to be part of the Fast Pass with a three-day package set at $59.99. For more details on that, you can find those at dirtvision.com. 
last night was round seven of ten for the iRacing World of Outlaws the Late Model World Champion uh, ch World Championship. Entering the night, the top three in the standings were separated by just 14 points, with Dylan Wilson leading Hayden Cardwell and Evan C. The series took on the virtual Fairbury Speedway, and it promised to be a wild night on the uh, tight confines of Fairbury. In the feature, it was Zach McSwain on the pole with Swindell Speed Lab driver Kendall Tucker to his outside. On the start, Tucker rolled the top to grab the early lead, with McSwain settling into second and Hayden Cardwell in third. Tucker survived two early restarts to maintain the lead and by lap 15 had put a small gap on second. Behind him, Cardwell moved to second and began working to track down the double zero out front. As the race moved inside 20 to go, the battle for the lead heated up. Cardwell and Tucker traded slid sliders for a few laps before Cardwell was finally able to get clear for the top spot. Uh, behind Cardwell, Tucker was then under fire from McSwain, which allowed Cardwell to get away a bit. Over the final 10 laps, Cardwell was able to drive away to grab his third win of the season. Kendall Tucker was second, Zach McSwain third, Blake Majulis fourth, and Blake Cannon finished in fifth. Dylan Wilson finished sixth, and Evan C. got turned over and finished 19th. So with the win, Hayden Cardwell has now taken back the points lead from Dylan Wilson with three rounds remaining. Uh, Evan C's crash has probably taken him out of the title fight uh, with only a couple races left. Next week, the series heads to Knoxville for round number eight. You can watch for free at 9 p.m. Eastern at iRacing.com slash live or twitch.com slash iRacing. Uh, if you're looking this morning, there is a new episode of Dirt Tracker Conversations um, available in your podcast feed. I had a chance to chat with uh, modified standout Mike McKinney as he's neck deep in the Summer Nationals right now. Uh, we talked about his modified career, getting the chance to run some late model races this season, um, You know all the stuff he did with iRacing and, and the World of Outlaws earlier in the season. Uh, so a lot uh, to talk about there with Mike McKinney. You can listen in the same feed or you can find that video on uh, the Dirt Tracker YouTube channel. A uh, quick note, too, about the analytics section of Dirt Tracker. I've added one more stat to the individual driver pages for all three series. You can now find a total number of quick times along with race count, feature wins, lap le laps led, top fives, top tens. There's three different average finishes on there. Uh, qualifying average, money, feature plus minus, heat plus minus, heat wins, and dash wins. So a ton of stats there available on the individual driver pages. I'm also working on adding a driver list page. Uh, you'll be able to go see a clickable list of all drivers for each series ordered alphabetically. I'm also going to kind of add in some quick stats on there as well. Uh, certainly make it easier to find a specific driver's page. Uh, right now, you kind of have to go click on a race or click on a stat category to be able to actually click on an individual driver's page, and that's kind of annoying. It's, it's annoying for me, and I built the damn thing. Um, so I'm going to add that driver list here. I started on it last night, so hopefully in the next day or two, that will be live on the site. Uh, let's take a quick look at the streaming schedule for tonight. Uh, a, a few shows, if you're looking for something to watch, uh, like I, I mentioned before, Beaver Dam is going to be available on Dirt Vision tonight with the World of Outlaws Late Model Series. Flow Racing has um, 500 open wing carts, um, junior wings, box stock, sportsmen, uh, and a bunch of other stuff from Thunder Hill Speedway. That's on Flow Racing tonight. They also have USAC 24-7. Speed Sport has a pair of shows as well. They've got the 26th annual Street Stock Little Dream Race from Rice, uh, Rice Lake Speedway. And then they've got IMCA Modifieds and IMCA Sport Mods from Deer Creek Speedway. Uh, if you want to see that full streaming schedule, you can find it at dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. Um, it, it will have links and everything you need to know there about the shows for tonight. That's it for the show today. Hope everybody has a good Tuesday. You can find Dirt Tracker daily on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or where you get podcasts. Please subscribe, leave a review. You can also watch the show every Every day on YouTube and Facebook. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com and you can follow along at facebook.com slash dirttracker, twitter.com slash dirttracker and the website itself dirttracker.com. You can follow me personally on Twitter at Justin underscore Fiedler and don't forget to sign up for the Dirt Tracker weekly newsletter on the site. That's it for today. Hope everybody has a good Tuesday. We will see you tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily.